so here's the new dress it is on a seamstress's mannequin so let's switch that right now but it's gorgeous i'm loving this ombre from red to black and uh, i can't wait to start so let's find the mannequin i need a number three would be equivalent to a number 10 in the fabulous fit brand of mannequin so let's grab that one rich kind of royal burgundy-ish red color I think it matches good enough we shall see so you know I am absolutely in love with using velvet at the current time and we just so happen to have this beautifully lush red crimson looking velvet that I want to use as my accent I could have used the crepe or lycra but velvet just stands out so good on the dance floor so i like to just use velvet so much and if you're a dancer or if you've ever been to a comp you understand what i mean when i say that the velvet it just does something all on its own you can have a fully stoned i mean a fully made dress with no stones on it and with velvet it's gorgeous I started the placement assuming that I would get a level of free reign on how I wanted to place these gorgeous velvet strips, but I think I need to make it look just like this video. So I'm going to take down all of my straps because, you know, we always get an accompanying video with the dress that we're doing if we're doing something that is supposed to be an exact replica. And this dress is. She has a gold and black version. She wants a red and black version. I was about to do my little thing thing and watch the video. And now I'm looking at the drawing and the other picture right over here. Let me show you. I think I'm just gonna do exactly what this is. So this is her golden black one. Um, this is the inspiration for the red, but we're not gonna peek it in the center like that or do the feathers or the mesh top. We're just gonna do an exact replica of this. And that's pretty much what it is. It's a shoulder strap, not a mesh top, same shoulder bands. I'll put the other one here. So what the gold one looks like, um, let me move it over here um, in relation to how the velvet pieces are. So I want to keep it so much, mm, it's not too much exactly the same, but pretty much exactly the same, but in red and black tone. So we're just going to go with that. I like it. The video is gorgeous. She's dancing. It spreads wide in the back. It's only like three straps in the back and then four to five in the front. 
So we're gonna mimic this dress to be exact. Since we made the gold one, I'll mimic the black exactly the same with the red. I think it'll look good. All right, so I got my placement of the black velvet on the front, cinching in the waist here and up the bust. And I'm gonna add the red velvet just in a line right above the black lines in between here. And I think I'm gonna cut these velvets here so that it, they don't go down too far and keep the black a little staggered for the black against black. And then the red going up against red, I'll stagger the red as well. But it looks good so far. Now let's add these red straps. All right, so I got her nice and cinched in. I think that looks amazing. And I kind of curved it around the bust. I know in the picture it looks perfectly straight. And give it a little more personality. So the way that I did it was kind of bringing it around just to cinch her in here in the waist and then straight down. And I staggered the other colors and it looks amazing. Now let's do the same to the back with less lines though and then the bottom gets flared out wide <clears throat> all right so all of my velvet is in its proper placement all the way up around the bust creating a very cinched waistline here all the way around and down fading into the red now the back is done as well so everything is nice and glued down with all of the velvet the black and the red are spread out a little wider in the back as to mimic the gold and black version so now what I'm going to do is go in and frame the black, I believe. I think I'm going to go really heavy, chunky on this place here. Go very light on the straps. Just a frame, maybe one side of a frame. And then heavy on the hip to accent at that with the specialties. And I'll match the specialties on the straps two and three it's gonna be so pretty all right let's do my god so i'm still stoning straps and i came up with this really pretty design for the center of the front and for the back in these different kind of shapes two-sided diamond shapes geometric navette shapes i don't know the exact name of it and then i brung it up the neck here uh, when i'm done with doing this opposite side of the jet i'll stand it up so you can get a good picture but it's so cute so pretty it's coming together though all right so it is looking a little Link to the side, but it's gorgeous all the way around from the front to the back. This design on the top and through the middle is beautiful. And now, what I'm gonna do is stone these side panels. I do have a small project for this dress, I get to make a little necklace from here. And it'll be cute, but for now, let's do this. You know, I'm kind of excited about the small project alert, which will be the necklace for the back of this dress. So, let's do that now. Small project alert, small project alert. For you on the regular full creation video, you're just gonna have to go to the small project alert video. I'll put it right here and watch that one next. So we're gonna go back into stoning this part right here. It is so gorgeous.
already. Hmm, I like this little centerpiece with the flat stones. I don't know what they're called, but I like it. I'm thinking about lightly sprinkling inside some of these larger places. I don't know. Though. But I do know that today we are tackling this side. And I think this will be done. Oh, small project alert. I gotta sew it in. And this will be done. Just looks like the red is bleeding down into the black. I love it. Super cute. So let's get into that so I can start this dress. New dress alert. New dress alert. I have the inspiration somewhere around here. My desk is a mess. Those are so cute, right? Anyway. Back to the dress. Let me do that, and this dress will be done. Okay, so I want to leave some negative space in between the sprinkle and my final line here. So I added a piece of fabric just to make sure that no stones get beyond that line. So I got the top of the red on this side done and I just lightly faded the red down into the black and back out to red and I think it looks good. The black faded up just nice and the red faded down equally as nice. All right, let me stand it up so you can get a better look and I'll pull off my negative space barrier and we'll see what it's really looking like. So this is what that fade up and fade down looks like standing up from the side here. I think that's gorgeous. Let me take these pins out oh, and not poke myself. barrier in between the lines so this black line stays impactful and doesn't blend in with the back so i'm gonna do the same thing i don't know i dropped them i gotta pick that up all right here's the other side see how there's just that negative space it's still beautiful it's still fully stoned but it just keeps the accent line an accent so this side will be more prevalent because it's red on red and this side will be more prevalent because it's black on black. But I like the space. Now let's do this other side. Then we'll go into the small project and sew this down and this dress will be done. Ok, 
Okay, so now that I have my straps on nice and stoned, it is finally done. Let me show you this chain. It's gorgeous. So I ended up going back in and framing these coffin pieces. Let me let you get into it and see. So you see how I put four at the bottom, four at the top, two on the side of the thread. That was to give it some weight. So this is the chain. So hopefully you enjoyed that part. I love the way this one with the jet rectangles is just around the wrist and these two go up by the elbow, one on the arm. It's gorgeous, it is gorgeous. Got both of those done. And now, thank you so much for watching this episode of Small. Can I get some shares? I know there's beautiful women in this ballroom industry that are actually learning from what I'm doing. And even if you're not in ballroom and you just work with crystals, I know you can get some value from the things that I show you. And if you want to send a cash app, it's TST Tiffany. Um, the link is in the description. Any way you want to support, I'm willing to accept your support. I see that my numbers are growing. I think I'm at about 285 right now. And I thank all of you for watching and subscribing. And it just makes me so happy to see that people actually like what I'm doing. So, this one is done. I know you can see me in the background of the video sometimes, but this is a quick look at the dress in the light. I know it was kind of dark, but you know, that's kind of the theme going on for rhinestone Swarovski crystal dresses now is to film them in the dark. So just trying to stay on trend, but the dress is lovely. But I jumped back in real quick because we're having a photo shoot back here and my two girlies are the topic of discussion or the, the 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 object of photography if you will so let me give you girlies a look at some other small projects that i just did these will probably be out long before this dress this red dress comes out but thank you again for watching aren't they gorgeous gosh like this one right here oh, 
It's giving Grecian. It's giving pink Barbie. This one is giving, Julia actually said this one was giving her BDSM. I said lightly, lightly. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. Okay, so as I get ready to end my day and I get to looking around at what the other ladies are doing, oh my God, do you see this? Isn't it gorgeous? It's giving Asian, it's giving blue, it's giving Smurf, it's, it, it's giving gorgeous too. Do you see the bugles? The transition in bugle from the light baby blue lacquer into the aqua AB. It's gorgeous. And this, oh, do you see this belt though? Do you see those belts in settings? Let me turn this camera around. You see the settings on the neck too? She is killing it over here. Oh, the intricacy of this, this. I work with so many wonderful ladies. There's, it's so inspiring to see all the work that goes on here and all the beauty that gets created. This is what Desiree is working on. And if that ain't gorgeous as well, I would stand it up, but I'll leave it where it's at and we can admire it from here. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Do you see how the stones just, oh, frame this centerpiece and spread out into the blue. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So we'll be back to this tomorrow.